Okay, let me just try to demonstrate here what the problem is. So, just have a normal scope hooked up to the output of the power supply. And we have it set here to oh, 5 volts per division. And just gonna do a single capture. Just hit the power button. And there we see it. So we got about 20 volt coming out. There's not supposed to be any voltage on when you just switch on uh, the power supply. And usually it doesn't behave like this. So there's clearly something wrong with it. Um, besides this, it works fine. There's nothing unusual. Just switch on here and change the voltage. Everything is fine there and it's current limiting, not, no problem. And it didn't used to have this behavior. So I'm gonna have a look at it. I know it's just a cheap Chinese one, but until now it's been behaving pretty good. So from memory I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a relay clicking when I switch it on. I think it is probably switching some of the ranges on the um, transformer here. So we have different windings and uh, different voltages. So I think it's um, it might be stuck on the highest voltage winding and that could be the reason or it could just be a relay that completely switches off the, uh, the output. I don't hear really click. So, first thing I'm going to do is to check the relays. I think it'll be easier to just take the whole fan out because this is just one assembly here. Because we got our pass transistors down there, uh, screwed directly into the heat sink, and then we got the fans blowing into this little heat sink, and then we got some control board here with our filter capacitors. Okay, here we have the board. So I think one of these two relays is uh, not working. I'll try to see if I can feed in it's probably some control signal on one of these pins here. Uh, it probably just goes directly to the, um, the coil on the relay and see if I can get them both to click. Uh, if they're not clicking, one of them is definitely broken. Maybe both. Okay, I've tested the relays and actually one of the relays is not responding so um, I just had to test it off camera because my other power supply is located a little, little while away um, so this is a 12 volt relay so I just had a quick look at what relays I have so I do have someone some relays in this uh, form factor here but they're only 5 volt uh, relays they're the same rating uh, 15 amp 120 volts or 10 amp 250 volts um, so what I need to do is add a resistor in series so the ones I have are hope you can see them here so these are 5 volts uh, relays so I think I need something around 100 ohm Resistor in series when the uh, the coil on the relay, so you can see it's the same same layout. So I'll just try to put uh, a resistor in series, 
and try to solder one of these in and see if that fixes the problem. So I just cut uh, a trace here, so I'm going to be inserting a uh, resistor between here, so I just want to make sure that uh, the trace is actually cut. So, a quick multimeter test, yeah, got that trace cut properly, good. So I found these 47 ohm, uh, 1 8 of a watt. Uh, resistors, I think those would be good enough. And a new relay. It's a bit massive with all this uh, heat sink compound. need to solder. Hope you can see this. Too much here. Okay. okay. So hopefully this will fix the problem. There might be more wrong with the power supply. But just remember, it, it used to make a click on a relay whenever I switched it on. Just gonna take out some more resistors here. Yeah, let's check. I can see that. See if we can get that in there without shorting anything. I think that will be fine. Yeah, I already have heat sink compound on something, it just tends to get everywhere within no time. Uh, it's kind of like magic.
Okay. So I think that's good enough. Let's have a close up here. Um, so we have a rectifier here, two past transistors here, and then we have a relay under here, and then I added, cut a trace and added a resistor in between. So that should make up for the difference between the relay being 5 volt and not 12 volt. Hopefully that will work. Uh, I'll assemble it now and we'll give it a go. Okay, so we are ready uh, to do a quick test here. So, again, single, and we switch on. And it appears there's nothing. Um, so, it's fixed. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll try it a bit more, but I believe that should uh, have fixed it. So I just need to assemble it and test it out a bit more before I have full confidence in it again. Okay, I think that was it. Thanks for watching.